the unremembered. They found him there, his chin on knees, hands over ears and caked in mud, his helmet gone. Eyes tightly closed, his sobs so loud they drowned the noise of shells and screams as hundreds died. With one last chance they shouted him, over the top, get up boy, go! He could not move. With blood-stained hands they grabbed his arms and made him stand, but weak with fear his legs gave way. With solemn gaze and hardened hearts they held him up then dragged him down that mud-filled trench. The CO's tent, a world away, was warm and safe. The shaking stopped, they gave him tea. Then back to camp, where no one talked, a room, a bed, and all alone guard at the door. They brought him food, ignored his plea. What happens now? Just get some sleep, was all they said. Just before dawn, the priest walked in. It's time, my son. And so he knew his end was near. With shaking hands, he wrote a note. Dear Mum and Dad, forgive me, please, I love you both. Though terrified, he stood up straight, and flanked by guards, he made his way to meet his fate. Two hundred steps was all it took. He saw the twelve, and they saw him, and some dropped their gaze. They sat him down. He did not fight the ropes that bound him to that chair. He stared ahead. Then, looking down, he watched them pin a small white cloth above his heart and almost broke. The blindfold tied, his head held high. The order came. He forced himself to sit up straight. With tear-filled eyes and shaking hands, the twelve took aim as best they could at that white cloth. He took a breath, his last he knew, and felt his heart beat loud and strong and thought of home. His mother's cake, a birthday treat ten months ago to celebrate his seventeenth. The order barked, four of the twelve shot true that morn, white turned to red. Then all was quiet. One hundred years he lay in earth, his bones now dust, his heart felt lost, a family's shame. The shame that lay within that grave now rests with those whose actions took the lives of boys to suit their need. Example set, they then moved on, leaving behind a list of souls that will become the unremembered.